Sun Stormy Strike here, and this is some of the things I got at the Briar Swap Meet every year at the Broken Horn, which is the tax shop that is basically closest to me. Uh, every year they have, uh, once or twice a year, they do a little Briar Swap Meet, and it's always super fun. And yeah, and once again, I ended up buying more than I meant to. I'm, I'm really trying to save for Briar Fest this year, and so I did not uh, want to spend as much as I did. But uh, the Black Horse Ranch was having a sale again, and that's where pretty much most of these came from. In fact, I think everything except for three things I'm going to show you came, actually four technically, everything except for four things came from that Black Horse Ranch sale, and like some of them are marked down, and I just, I had to, I had to buy, buy the things. And, but I got some really fun things, I think, a lot of different, a lot of variety of stuff, as you can kind of tell. So I'm going to go ahead and go through and just uh, show you show you everything here. So first off, I'll start off with this thing, which looks like it's about to fall off. So I want to pull it out before it does. So this is actually a sealed, which is kind of big here, but it's a sealed uh, older briar jump thing. It actually looks like it might be kind of cracking on one part there, I just noticed. But it comes with the poles, and it's like a little jump standard. It's really pretty neat. I don't know. I just thought it was kind of cool and it was a fairly good price and so I just said, you know what? This is a pretty neat little thing. I've never seen seen a jump like this really before and so I went ahead and got it. Not like I need any more things for my briar barn that is currently non-existent anyway because it's like I don't have a place for my briar barns. But eventually one day I'll set up all these jumps in arenas and I'll have a cute little briar display. One day we'll have that. So there is one thing there. I'll go ahead and show you this little guy too before I forget about him because he's so tiny. So they also had a free stable mate painting because it was actually a, a Briar Fun Days kind of a, a thing, event thing as well, which was pretty cool. So there was free stable mate painting and uh, I made this little guy. He's supposed to be a blue row, I mean a red, a bay roan. And uh, he didn't turn out the uh, the best. But considering we were using, you know, not the best paint and the brushes we had were pretty thick and so I was not able to paint him like I would have liked. But I thought he came out uh, pretty cute all considering though. So that's just kind of a fun, fun little thing. I actually also bought uh, at the Broken Horn, I bought two little more of the Pocket Box Aquarium sets. And so with this one, I got a Hammerhead Shark and a sperm whale, I believe. Yes, so there's a little whale, a little sharky. Pretty cute. And then the other one, I got a little seahorse. And there's a little, whoa, my camera's not wanting to focus. There's a little seahorse. And then there is the cute little eel guy. Oh no, I just dropped the seahorse. And then of course they come with their little, uh, little fun stickers and things. Here is a little piece of briar tack. It's a fancy show halter. There we go. Yeah, and I thought that was just, I don't know. I was like, oh, and vintage briar tack. I need to have it. I do enjoy the vintage briar tack stuff. And so more with that, there was this uh, saddle. It's got a little bridle too. There's also a cowboy hat in there. So that is really neat little vintage you can't really see it, I'm sorry, <laughs> with the glare of the light. But a cute little vintage briar saddle and stuff. I I just thought it was cool. I had to have it. And then, most yeah, most of the horses and stuff I got were actually vintage. There's only like two I consider like more newer ones, like from past early, past 2000s. Most of these are older ones that I got. Anyway. This little guy is actually one I've been wanting. There's a little uh, stable mate with the Indian markings. Let me just pull it out because I'm sorry, the glare is really bad. And there's like a little fence in here too. It's just like a little paper fence. But there's a little a little Indian horsey. A little Native American horse, I mean. A little Native American horsey. And then also a little Native American rider. So I thought that was really super duper cool. I love that kind of thing. So, another fun, fun little find. 
And we shall go to Mr. Goat over here next. Sorry, we're gonna do all the bag things and just get them out of the way. Here's Mr. Mr. Goaty. Doesn't want to come out of the baggie. Here's Mr. Goat. So I don't. Uh, I have one Alpine goat who is like the brown and white one. So I was really excited when I saw this guy who is the uh, tan and white Alpine goat guy or just goat. I don't know. Anyway, I was really really excited about him. And I was also excited because my um, trainer's daughter at our barn actually just uh, recently got a goat and a sheep as like little barn pets and so I had to get the goat because now we have a little goat friend at the barn which is super fun. And then okay so I bought a lot of briar dolls because I've been kind of needing briar dolls for the stuff I have planned for the future. Which I know is going to come eventually, but yes, I have Briar movies planned, and a lot of them are going to require a lot of Briar dolls. And so I went ahead and got some Briar dolls that I don't have. So there's like an older dressage rider one, so it's not super old. But um, kind of, I don't know, I just had to get them. I had to get these dolls, and there were more, and I would have bought all of them if I had the money. But alas, I am trying to save for Briar Fest. This one is like really old, older one out of, I'm not sure which years, years these are, but this one is definitely an older one, and I'm not going to take it out of the bag right now, but her face is really pretty, like just, oh my gosh, super cool, super, 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 why am I, why am I saying super? Just a vintage Briar doll that I feel like I don't see very often, and I just really, really like that one. And then here's two more. It's like a dressage rider one. And then I believe these ones are names, uh, the names of this one anyway. I know it's Brenda, I believe. The Brenda Briar dolls. Again, really cool Briar dolls. Really like them. And then again, yes, oh yeah, that's right. This is Brenda because this is the boxed one. And this one, which I'm actually not even sure if I'm going to take out of the box or not because the box is really cool that this, uh, this one comes in. But Brenda Breyer, Action Rider doll. Really cool. And there's a picture of an old Adios model on there, too. I think that's really cute. So, yeah, that's really cool. And this is, I believe, uh, should know. This is 70s or 80s, I believe, this kind of boxing style. But I can't say for sure, because I have not been, uh, been doing my, uh, Briery stuff as much as I usually do, and so I'm a little bit off on briar history and such. This one is a newer one. This is from like 2002 I'd say. Maybe not quite that year but around that time I mean. So uh, and these ones I feel like are really reminiscent are very nostalgic for me because these are the kind of dolls that uh, kind of ones that I'm used to seeing in like the older briar briar movies like the original old school uh, Sim and Mew Mew Briar movies and stuff. These are what these uh, dolls always remind me of. And so I was really excited to find the vet one and I had to get her because I've been actually wanting the vet Briar doll for a while. So that is just pretty cool. So there was all the dolls and so now we can go on to the horses. I'll go through the boxed ones first real quickly because there's two boxed ones I have here. So this is Kiwi, the Australian uh, stock horse set. I've actually been wanting this one for a while because I almost bought it, I believe it was either one year ago or two years. I'm thinking maybe it was more like two years ago now. I honestly can't remember. Time has eluded me. Like, I just can't remember things anymore. Like, I, I can't remember times and dates and stuff anymore. But this guy, um, so I've been wanting him for a couple years because I regretted not buying him when I saw him before. Because it was actually at another, like, briar sale thing. And I wanted to get him, but I had spent already like way too much money that day. And so I was like, eh, I should not buy him. So I was really happy when I got him again. I mean, I got him finally. Because I absolutely love him. I mean, I'm not a huge uh, Stock Horse Stallion fan. But I do really like the color on this one. And his tack set is really cool. And there's just something about him. I just I just love this, love this horse and love this tack set. It's really, really neat. So I was super happy about that. Um, other thing I was really excited about is I went ahead and I got a spirit collection here. The Rain 
porcelain one, the big one, the big fine porcelain one, which I'm not going to take out right now because I don't feel like it and I don't want to risk breaking it. She actually does have a broken tail that was like re-glued on, so she's not perfect, but that's okay. I needed her because I have Spirit, but I do not have the Rain one to go with him. So now I have the Spirit and the Rain, and you can see the Spirit one right to there. So I have that guy, I have that Spirit, but I needed her. And so now I have her. I'm super excited about that. So yeah, Spirit Collection is coming along really good. Excited about that, especially since um got new Spirit Writing Free stuff are going to be coming into my collection soon. Alright, now we'll get to these, these guys. These guys here. So here is a little Action Stock Horse full. I actually would have bought several more Action Stock Horse fulls, but this was like at the end of the day and I was already like, okay, I've spent way too much money than I meant to today. So this guy was, um, like there was a bunch, quite a few Action Stock Horse foals that I was picking through and I went ahead and got this one because I really like how he's just like a really nice soft buckskin. Like he's a really soft kind of yellow and kind of more of a dun but he doesn't have a dorsal stripe. I don't know, he's just, he's a pretty little guy. I really like him. I really like the Action Stock Horse foals for some reason. I think they're really cute. So, yeah, I'm really happy with him. He's adorable. I'll probably end up uh, getting more of these guys at Briarfest. Oh, uh, what have I become? I'm collecting so many more molds and stuff than I used to. Speaking of which, collecting many molds, I got this girl who I needed because I have the Adios one that is this, like, same color. And they're not, I don't, they're not, like, officially a set, I don't believe. I, I remember correctly, they're not. But they're both very similar in color, and so... I wanted to get her because she's so pretty and she'll go nicely with my Adios one. And she was a really great price. She's a limited edition of 1500 so that's pretty cool. And oh my gosh, she is so pretty. Like, she is in great condition too. Like, she looks really, really nice. Super nice little girl. And this is a mold that, I don't know why, but this mold has grown on me so much recently. I didn't used to care for the uh, yearling stock horse mare. Is that what her name is? <laughs> I'm sorry if it's not. I'm, uh, <laughs> lots of things I'll explain later on, maybe. Um, I'm so sorry if my videos right now are just whatever. Anyway, she is super cute, and I just have been falling in love with this mold lately. I don't know why, but there's something about her that I'm just like, you know what, you're super cute. I need to have all of you. So yeah, she's super adorable. And then I got her a sister. Here comes her sister down the road. Here's her little sister who is a little, um, I don't remember. She's something. She's like, I feel like she was like a special or something, but don't quote me on that. So she is a like really cute little gray Appaloosa. I'm just in love. Love with her, like, spots. They look so great. Like, I'm not always a fan of these kinds of spots, uh, these kind of Appaloosa markings on models. But hers, I think, look super good. Like, I just, I like the spacing on them. I like everything about her. Her shading is super soft and pretty. Like, just look at that gray shading. It's gorgeous. Look at the shading on her. It's just, oh my goodness. So she is super adorable. I fell in love with her when I saw her right away, so I had to get her. And so, I have two of those cute little girls, and they're just adorable. Oh, look how cute they look together. And then here's, here's a, ooh, come here, boy. Here's a daddy horse. He could be the daddy horse of this one. <laughs> um, anyway, this guy is a, wow, why am I blanking on your name? Stud Spider, that's his name. Stud Spider Mold, not actually, uh, not, this isn't Stud Spider, Stud Spider, but, you know, the Stud Spider Mold. Anyway, this guy... Um, again, I don't know why I'm kind of getting into these molds a lot more than I used to be. I think he is gorgeous. I love his spots. They're just so sporadic and fun. And again, he's got really nice gray shading. And he's another one when I saw him. I didn't see him at first, but like at the end of the day, I looked over and I was like, wait a second, I don't remember you. And I saw him and I was like, oh my god, I have to have him. Because he is, wow, he's so pretty and gorgeous. He's kind of a blue-gray, too. He's like, he looks kind of green right now on the camera. I don't know if that's how it's going to translate. But he's actually kind of like a blue-green. I mean, I mean, <laughs> a blue-gray. Oh my god, I'm losing my mind. So anyway, he's like a blue-gray, and I thought he was kind of neat, so 
Yeah, new little, new little buddies. Oh my god, they look so cute together. And let's go down to this horsey here. This is, oh my goodness, she has a big old Made in China sticker on her. I just now noticed that, oh my gosh. So this is actually a JCPenney exclusive. I can't remember which year. But she is the lady face. I, I kind of didn't realize it until after I bought her, but I kind of realized. I forgot she doesn't have the long tail. I, I prefer the long tail lady faces. But that's okay. She's, I really love her coloring. That is the reason why I bought her. I was like, oh my god, your coloring is amazing. And so I, yeah, I was like, I have to have you. I, I almost put her down at first, too. I was like, ah, oh, no, I shouldn't get her. I'm trying to be good. I gotta wait till Briarfest. And then I was like, no, I gotta get her. Her coloring is just so amazing. Oh my god, her coloring is so rich. And her shading is just phenomenal. And her Made in China sticker is so classy. I'm gonna take that off later. But, yeah, oh my god, she's so cute, oh my goodness. I'm not a huge, huge, huge Lady Faze fan, but they do, I, my first, like, briar that I, like, bought, like, new briar that I bought was a Lady Faze, though, so I am a little, little nostalgic towards this mold, and she's just gorgeous, I this color, oh my goodness, this model. So I just, I fell in love with her, and I immediately was, like, already thinking, like, ooh, she would make a great character, too, in a Briar movie one day. All right, now let's go to this guy, I guess. Mr. Bloody Shoulder Horse, whose name, I believe, is actually Freedom. This is a horse I've been wanting for, like, at least three years. At least. I've been wanting this guy, and I know it's, like, I could have bought him at any time. I mean, he's not, like, a hard one to come by. He's not really that expensive. But I just never really bought him because I was like, oh, I could probably find one for cheaper. Or, like, by the time the day was done, I was already out of money, basically, or whatever. But I just never got this guy. And so I went ahead and was like, you know what, I'm just going to get him. He was 30, and I was like, okay, he's super nice. I'm just going to go for it. And so I did. He is so pretty. I just, oh my gosh. I do like the Proudest Arabian Stallion mold. Again, I'm kind of, I love these older molds. I know not everyone does, but there are some of these older molds where I do just really, really love them. And so with him, I've always loved him. I think his markings are just super cool. Look at all those little red flecks on him. Little flea bites all over him. He has a limited edition of 10,000, which isn't that limited. But he is so cool. And look at that bloody shoulder marking right there. I just love, love this guy. Oh my gosh, he is so gorgeous. He's got that really bright white mane and tail, and his face, he's got really nice gray shading. His eyes are crazy, and I absolutely love them. He's, his eyes are a little creepy. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, they don't look normal, necessarily. Like, he looks a little crazy, but that is exactly why I love him so much, is because, oh, he's got crazy eyes. <laughs> look at those crazy eyes. He's a crazy horse. I like him. So, Mr. Crazy Horse there is uh, one I'm definitely very excited about getting. Lastly, but not leastly, that is not a word, but last but not least, this guy is the 2012, don't quote me on that, Treasure Hunt uh, Seasons Winter Song Models. This is the Matt Fall one, the Matt Bay Fall horse. I got this one because I needed him to complete the set, so... Actually, I do like this one a lot, but I do have the matte winter, fall, and I mean, winter, summer, and spring horses already, and then I was like, well, I have to get him now, too. So, there he is. Apples are really pretty, though. His color's nice. Just a really pretty looking little horse. Little horse. I'm sorry. Big horse. You're a big horse, aren't you? Are you my big horse? You, yes, you are your big horse. I am literally going insane. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't wait for this semester to be over. So, there's my horses, besides the other ones, this guy and stuff, that I showed, and the other stuff I showed you. But that is all then for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry I'm not like 100%. I'm just kind of losing my mind right now over everything. But, you know, I'll get some new Briar videos and stuff out soon, especially Briarfest videos. I really need to get on that uh, surprise horse speculation video. Don't worry, I'm 
I'm gonna get to it, but right now I'm just taking one thing at a time because I got a lot going on. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a super duper awesome day and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone!